posible sa iyong pangalan, Panginoon. Kami patuloy na kumakapit sa iyo, Lord God, na nagtitiwala sa iyo, Panginoon. Salamat, Panginoon. Salamat. Jesus. Ikit sa aking kailangan. Ikit sa aking karana. Higit sa aking isipin ay kaya mong gawin. Higit sa aking kalakasan na minsan na hindi Higit sa aking isipin ay kaya mong gawin. Bawat araw ko ay hawang mo di mangangamba sa piling mo. Wala Hirap sa iyo, ikaw ang Panginoon na makapangyarihan, walang mahirap sa iyo. Ikaw ang 
Salamat po sa buhay at kalahasan na paglay po namin sa araw na ito, O Diyos. Muli kami po ay lalapit at magpupuli sa inyo. Walang hanggang pag-ibig, Panginoon. Tunay na Diyos, mga pangyarihang Ama, na nasa langit, kami po ay lubos na lumalapit sa iyong harapan, Panginoon. Humingi kami ng kapatawaran sa lahat ng aming mga kasalanan, O Diyos. Mga bagay na alam namin kasalanan at mga bagay na hindi namin alam na kasalanan, Panginoon. Hindi lalapit po namin, hinihingi namin ang kapatawal ng sa inyo. Lord, napakadali na magsalita sa panalangin, Panginoon. Pero ano nga po ba ang laman ng puso namin, O Lord God? We want the Holy Spirit, Panginoon, to guide us in this prayer, wala po kaming kakayanan, Ama. Hindi nga po talaga kami marunong manalangin, Panginoon. Pero kung ilalagay mo po mga panalangin na ito sa aming harapan, sa aming puso, sa aming isipan, gamitin mo lamang po ang inyong lingkod upang sabihin ang mga panalangin na nice mo, Lord God. Lord, maraming salamat po sa praise and worship. Maraming salamat po sa talento. At maraming salamat, Panginoon, na patuloy mga tao ay nagpapagamit for your glory, O Lord God. Tinataas ko po ang aming mga buhay sa inyong harapan, Panginoon. Hindi man kami magkakasama ngayon na nag-worship physically, Lord, but spiritually, Father God, na andito ka, Panginoon, sa aming kalagitnaan. While we're doing the worship, Panginoon, nandito ka, Lord God. Kasama ka namin, kasama namin ang Holy Spirit. And we are praying, Father God, number one, sa Pilipinas, Lord, itong bansa namin, Lord God, na dumaranas din ng um, trouble, Panginoon. 
Dalangin ko po na patatagin mo po ang bawat tao, ang bawat Pilipino, Panginoon. Matuto kami magpasalamat sa gobyerno namin, O Lord God. Hindi man sila perfect, Lord God, pero ginagawa mo, Panginoon, na sila po ay palakasin, na sila po ay uh, bigyan ng karunungan, na gamitin sila, O Lord God. At dalangin ko po sa aming presidente, Panginoon, na huwag niyo pong pababayaan ang kanyang mga decisions, O Lord God. No, ito ay laging manggaling sa iyo, Lord. Ganon din ang mga kabababa, ang mga pamahalaan, lalo na ang mga LGUs, Lord God, na hindi sila magkaroon ng uh, kasakiman sa puso, bangkos, Lord, gamitin nila ang panahon na ito, Lord God, upang ipakita, O oh Lord, ang tunay na pagmamahalan sa bawat uh, Pilipino, bawat kapwa, O oh Lord God. Hindi na po ito Uh, dahil sa mayaman o sa mahirap, O Lord God, pantay-pantay po ang bawat tao sa inyong paningin, Lord. At maraming salamat na ang bawat tao po na inyo ibinibless ay binibigyan nyo rin ng pagkakataon na nakapag-bless sa iba, Lord God. At maraming salamat din, Panginoon, dahil may opportunity kami na kahit hindi kami magkakasama physically sa loob ng simbahan, Lord, we can still pray, Panginoon. Kahit nasa mga tahanan kami, Lord, Masaya kami, Lord, na sinaselebrate namin to with our family, Lord God. Lord, marami kang itinuturo sa bawat puso namin, sa bawat isipan namin, sa bawat um, pagkilos namin, Panginoon, sa panahon na ito, Lord God. At naniniwala po ako na marami pa pong testimony na magaganap, Lord, sa mga uh, darating na panahon, Lord, dahil sa pangyayaring ito. This is only to glorify your name, Lord. Maraming maraming salamat po. Help us not to focus, Panginoon, sa hirap, Lord, kundi i-focus namin yung magandang na idulot nito sa aming buhay. Palakasin mo po ang aming mga puso, ang aming mga spirito, Lord God. Palakasin mo po ang aming mga isipan, O Lord God. Palakasin mo po ang bawat pamilya, Panginoon. Punuin mo ng pagmamahalan. Pagbuklorin mo kami, Panginoon, ng isang damdamin na nagpupuri sa iyong pangalan. Lord, maraming salamat po and let the Holy Spirit anoint the prayers, the worship, lahat po ng uh, uh, gagawin sa buong umagang ito, Lord God. I-bless mo po ang bawat isa. I-bless mo po ang mga makikinig. Ihanda mo po ang aming mga puso, Lord God. Ganun din, Father God. No distractions in the name of Jesus. Pinapalayas namin ang gawa at plano ng demonyo sa mga oras na ito, Lord na hindi siya mananalo sa buhay ng iyong mga anak. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo pong mata sa pagsambat papuri sa pangalan ng Panginoong Isus.
morning, brothers and sisters, and happy Sunday, and welcome to another online service due to lockdown. So, at dahil dyan, nadagdagan na naman ang ating quarantine, na-extend na naman until May 15. Well, in everything, give thanks na lang tayo sa Panginoon, although hindi natin maintindihan at napakahirap po naway na ating mga sitwasyon ngayon. Kailangan natin magpasakop, okay, para matapos na ang lahat ng ito. Okay, dagdagan natin ang ating mga pasensya at damihan natin ang prayers. Konting tiis pa mga kapatid at pasasaad ba't magkikita-kita rin tayo sa finals. Okay, so I would like to take this opportunity to say hi to all my anakis in crossover Bulacan. I miss you guys. Uh, I would like to commend you. Maraming maraming salamat dahil kahit, kahit na wala ako dyan ay eh, patuloy pa rin kayo sa Panginoon. And my prayers is continue to inspire others, inspire others and to serve the Lord, to serve our living God. Well, going back, you know what brothers and sisters, Okay, this in this time of crisis, brothers and sisters, this is the time where we have to plant. Yon, where we ha, where we need to plant our seeds to the kingdom of God. Okay, dahil itong panahon na ito, ito ang tinatawag na may matabang lupa. Okay, alam naman natin na kapag tayo ay nagtanim sa matabang lupa, sa magandang lupa, okay? aani tayo ng masagana, maganda. Okay, I remember nung nasa Bulacan pa ako, nagtanim ako ng bell pepper. Since maganda yung lupa sa Bulacan, tumubo yung aking bell pepper ng pagkaganda-ganda na to the point na ayoko na siyang iluto kasi nga sobrang tuwan-tuwa ako kasi napabunga ko siya ng maganda na okay, na magandang kinalabasan ng aking itinanim na binhi ng bell pepper. Okay? So, Moving on, let us open our Bible in Proverbs 11.25. It says there, A generous person will prosper, whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. Okay, meaning as we give to others, especially to advancement of the kingdom of God, we will prosper. The more na nakasara yung palad mo, the more na hindi mo ma makukuha, yung blessing na gusto ng Lord para sa'yo. Pero the more na naka-open ito, and you are generous and willing to give, diba? The more na mas marami kang marireceive. Amen? So, kapag naka, kapag nagbibigay ka, para kang nagahasik ng binhi. The more na marami kang binhi na hinahasik, the more na mas marami kang makukuha. Okay, tulad halimbawa, pag nagtanim ka ng isang buto ng mangga, di ba? Pag nagtatanim tayo, hindi naman, di naman maraming buto yan para maging puno siya, di ba? Isang buto lang, I guess, tama ako. <laughs> okay, so isang buto lang yan, pero pag yan, later on, naging puno na siya, and then harvest time na is super dami na ng, ng mga bunga niyan dahil lang sa itinanim mo. Ganun din sa kalamansi, Okay, ganun din sa siling labuyo. I remember kasi yung mga naitanim ko na before. So, nakakatawa dahil pag yan talaga, nagbunga talaga yung itinanim mo. Sobrang, alam mo yung iba yung saya mo na, uy, napabunga mo siya, napalaki mo yung halaman na ito at nagbunga. Well, going back, let us move on. Now, I would like to give my testimony. Okay. Uh, sa panahon nitong pandemic, uh, I am grateful and thankful to God by giving me the ability, okay, to sustain, okay, the needs, the basic needs of our family. Sobrang bait ng Lord kasi sa paggawa ko ng cake, talagang nakakatulong siya sa pang-araw-araw namin na, pam, na, na pangangailangan. Okay, hindi naman lingid sa inyong uh, kaalaman dahil ako po ay nagpo-post din na aking mga creations ng cake. Eh talaga namang nakakatawa ang Panginoon. Minsan may kakatok sa shop namin, hindi ko siya kilala. Tapos sasabihin, pwede umorder ng cake kasi natikman ko yung gawa mo. Diba? 
nakakataba ng puso. And then, one time naman, namimili kami ni Alvin, namimili ako sa, dito sa Talipa pa, may lumapit sa akin, sabi nga nun, di ba ikaw yung nagbibake ng cake? Sabi ko, ako po, bakit po? <laughs> sabi nga nun, pwede ba ako murder? Ganyan. So, sabi ko, ah, pwedeng pwede po. Eh, buti na lang, may mga back up ako na cake. So, ginawa ko, nagbabak up na ako ng cake. Yung mga tipong, Kasi nga, minsan may mga biglaan eh, na, na mga nag-walk in na, nung hindi pa ako nagbabak up, syempre sayang din yun. Parang nakakapanginayon nga, sana pala may back up. So, natuto na ako ngayon. Nagbabak up ako ng cakes kasi nga, madali naman din siyang maubos. So, ayun, nakakatuwa. Tapos, minsan naman, meron namang magte-text lang sa akin kasi nakapaskil yung number ko sa labas. Ite-text ako na, ma, pwede po ma, ano, kailangan ko ng gantong cake, ganitong araw, ganitong flavor. Ah, okay po, sige po. Tapos bibigay ko yung presyo. Uh, Ma'am, ganito po yung presyo natin. Ah, sige po, dadaan ako ng shop nyo. Then kahit wala ako, mother ko lang yung magre-receive, iiwanan niya yung full payment. mga kapatid, full payment ko. Iiwanan niya na, oh, ganito, pick up. So, ganun sila kadali kausap. hindi sila ganun, hindi sila, hindi sila mahirap kausap, and talaga namang sometimes I have five cakes sa isang araw, na kahit na medyo malayo, okay, Quezon City pa yan, okay lang, iniisip ko kasi sayang eh, although nag-iingat din naman ako mga kapatid, huwag naman kayong mag-alala dyan, <laughs> may mga safety precautions, may mga, may kompleto naman ako sa alcohol, sa pan-disinfect and everything, so pag ako naman ay pumupunta sa malalayo, eh, ako naman din ay nag-iingat kahit pa paano, dahil iba pa rin ang buhay, okay, so nakakatuwa, Dahil sa panahon ng crisis, sa panahon ngayon, talagang naranasan namin, hindi lang tatlong beses sa isang araw kumain. Okay, nakikita naman ninyo. Kitang-kita nyo naman kung ilan ang we dinagdag sa aking bigat. Well, anyway, ayun nga, I would like to say thank you to the Lord kasi sa panahon ito, sa panahon ng crisis ay talaga namang, sabi nga, ba? Diba, Even the raven gagamitin ng Panginoon just to bless you. Ganon katindi ang Panginoon. Ganon katindi kapag ikaw ang, ang tiwala mo sa Panginoon at talaga naman yung heart mo is hindi ka, hindi ka, alam mo yun, hindi ka madamot sa service when it comes to, when it comes to, finances, when it comes to service, willing ka tumulong sa iba, to refresh. Sabi nga ganun eh, a generous, ba? Diba? The one who refreshes others will be refreshed. So, ganun din, kapag ikaw iniisip mo rin yung iba, bago yung sarili mo. Talagang si Lord na yung bahalang gumante para sa'yo. And, nakakatuwa dahil yun nga. Okay? Sobrang na-bless ako sa Panginoon sa panahon ngayon ng pandemic. Okay, so right now, brothers and sisters, I am challenging you right now to plant your seeds, give to the kingdom, the advancement of the kingdom of God, okay, to be generous to others. Bakit? Kasi mga kapatid, hindi lang pinto at bintana ang pagbubuksan, ang ibubukas ng Lord para sa iyo. kundi floodgates. Alam niyo ba yun? Floodgates of heaven. God will open the floodgates of heaven to bless you. To bless each and every one of you. Alam, gusto, gusto ba natin maranasan yung tipong, Lord, tama na. Sasabihin mo sa Lord, susuko ka na, Lord, tama na. Tama na yung blessing. Sa iba mo na lang ibigay. Kasi talagang sobrang puspos na puspos na ako. Gusto ba natin maranasan yun? Ako gusto ko rin yun. Okay? Siyempre, yung tipong overflowing yung pagpapaala sa'yo dahil naging tapat ka. Lalo na ngayon, mga kapatid. Ngayong time na to, magbigay tayo sa Panginoon. Let us give our tithes and offering to the Lord. Huwag tayo maging stingy, mga kapatid, dahil He is a big God and He is a great God at Siya ang may-ari ng langit at lupa at 
ano ba naman yung pangkain mo? ba? Diba? Bakit mo kailangan, bakit mo kailangan hawakan yan? Yung pera na yan. Sino ba dito yung mga nakakuha sa DSWD? Baka naman. <laughs> okay, so, ako hindi, hindi naman sa pag-aano, no? Pero kahit na, kahit na kami ay hindi qualified sa DSWD talaga naman. Nakakaiyak nga dahil kung sino pa yung mga nagbabayad ng tax, okay? Sila pa yung mga walang. Well, anyway. Uh, what I am saying is, brothers and sisters, ngayong panahon ng crisis, gamitin natin tong pagkakataon na to na talagang i-bless ang iba at i-bless ang Panginoon. Let us give our tithes and offering to the Lord and I will surely, brothers and sisters, hindi po nagsisunungaling ang Bible. Okay? He will open the floodgates of heaven and He will bless you tremendously. Are you excited? Are you excited to give unto the Lord? I know you are. So right now, I want you to pray for that seed. No, kahit hindi mo hilingin na pagpalain ka, pagpapalain ka the moment you give that with all of your heart. Amen? So let us give unto the Lord. Magandang magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Maraming maraming salamat sa pag-tune in muli dito po sa ating pong unified online service. And we are now on our fourth Sunday of April with our theme which is Christ in Crisis. But before natin uh, puntahan, before tayo magsimula sa ating pong topic for today, Babalikan po muna natin, uh, i-review po muna natin yung mga diniscuss po for the last three weeks ng ating po mga beloved pastors. Number one, yun know, first Sunday, um, diniscuss po ni Pastor Tani about God's purpose on crisis. And truly, na na nalaman natin that there is really a purpose kung bakit nangyayari ang lahat ng ito. And on the second Sunday, with the Easter crisis topic na ibinigay po sa atin ni uh, Pastora Criselda and diniscuss niya po doon that truly that Easter is the fulfilled prophecy of the Messiah. And on the third Sunday um, pina diniscuss naman po sa atin, ibinahagi po sa atin ni Pastor Edwin ang about Christ in crisis that truly that Christ is really with us during this time of crisis. And if hindi nyo pa po napapanood or meron po kayo nakaligtaan dun sa mga videos po na iyon, na mga service po na iyon, pwede nyo pong i-visit ang ating pong Facebook page which is the Crossover Center or the other pages ng ating pong mga, mga areas kung saan merong crossover. You can check it po doon para mapanood po at uh, mapakinggan nyo po ang napakagandang mensahe na binigay po nila sa ating lahat. And to sum it up, it all boils down on knowing and finding our assurance that Christ is with us in everything that we are going through right now. Amen? Naniniwala tayo na talagang kasama natin ang Panginoon, kasama natin si Christ in everything that we are encountering right now. 
And on this, on our last topic, we will talk about spiritual quarantine. And if I'm not mistaken, we are now on our 41 days of quarantine. And the question is, how will this quarantine or this lockdown affect our spiritual life? Sa so, papaanong paraan nga ba nakaapekto ito sa ating mga spiritual life? Yes, uh, mara- malaki ang apekto nito sa ating po mga trabaho, sa ating po mga finances, sa ating po mga daily schedules. And ngayon naman po pag-uusapan natin, anong, apek- anong effect nito, anong apekto nito sa ating pong mga um, spiritual life? And I pray na... Naniniwala ako na lahat po tayo are in good physical condition as of now. And dahil sinusunod natin, sumusunod tayo sa directives ng ating pong DOH or ng World Health Organization, ng ating gobyerno. But again, but how about our spiritual life? Do you find time in searching, in thinking, in contemplating or accepting God's will and plan for your lives? sa mga panahon na to, do you really find time to do spiritual quarantine for us na mas maging deepen pa, for us na mas maging um, malawak pa yung pagkilala natin sa ating Panginoon. And as a Christian, we all know na dinedesire natin lahat is to walk closely with Him. To walk, to walk closer with Him. And to live our lives in harmony with His attributes and will. And to be a blessing to others as well. Since tayo mostly ay nasa bahay lang, how do we maximize our time? How do we maximize our time for us to really level up our spiritual life? If you make the most out of it, praise God. I know na madaming um, naibaba or nabago ang Panginoon sa iyo sa mga oras na ito, sa mga pagkakataon na to. But how about those who are not or who doesn't even have the time to do so. Amen. So I know um, sa mga pan- sa mga mga oras na ito, sa mga uh, minutong ito, God is talking to you right now. Umpisa pa lang, I know that God is really talking to you and I believe that by having this spiritual discipline, by having this time of um, spiritual quarantine, we can have a time of solitude and rest with Christ alone. So, kaya ang topic po natin ngayon, um, binigyan po namin ito ng, ng title, the, which is the Spiritual Quarantine, A Time of Solitude and Rest with Christ. Amen? And before we continue, bago po natin ituloy, uh, manalangin po muna tayo. Uh, samahan niyo po ako sa aking pananalangin. Panginoon, maraming salamat po sa umagang ito. Maraming salamat sa panibagong pagkakataon para po kami ay magkaroon ng uh, unified online service upang kami muli, Panginoon, ay makarinig ng iyong salita na kahit na kami magkakalayo, kahit na po kami nasa kanya-kanyang mga tahanan, you really find ways, Panginoon, para um, maibaba po sa amin ang inyong pong mga mensahe. Panginoon, um, tulungan mo po ko, O God, sa aking pong um, sa paggamit mo sa akin, Panginoon, para sa umagang ito, let everything na, na gusto mong ibahagi ko sa, sa congregation po na amin ay maibaba ko po lahat, Panginoon. May every words, O God, that will come out from my mouth, Panginoon, ay manggaling lamang po sa iyo, Panginoon. And buksan mo, Panginoon, ang puso, ang isipan, at ang isipan, ang isipan at ang puso, Panginoon, ang bawat isa po sa amin upang matanggap po namin ng buong buo yung nais mong ibaba sa amin, nais mong ibahagi po sa bawat isa sa amin. Maraming maraming salamat po. We give you all the glory, all the praises. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. By the way, I just want to really appreciate as well yung atin pong um, praise and worship team together with Pastora Lynn for the wonderful and the powerful uh, prayer. Maraming maraming salamat that despite na kahit nasa tahanan lang tayo, naka-online service lamang tayo, ay naramdaman natin yung presensya ng Panginoon. Amen ba? And together as well with uh, Pastora Len, maraming maraming salamat dahil 
patuloy mo kami in-encourage to be faithful with our giving, to be faithful with our tithes and offering. Thank you and praise God for everyone's life. Maraming salamat sa bumubuo ng, ng online, ng unified service na ito at patuloy nga na na ipakakalat natin kung anong mensahe ng Panginoon sa atin sa bawat lugar kung saan merong crossover family. Amen? Maraming salamat po. And thank you God. And again, ang, ang title po ng ating pong topic ngayon ay Spiritual Quarantine, A Time of Solitude and Rest with Christ. Before we proceed, of course, i-define muna natin ano ba yung solitude? Ano ba ibig sabihin ng solitude? Uh, so, solitude is the state of being alone without being lonely. Diba? Napaka-simple, napakadaling intindihin. It is a state of being alone without being lonely. It is a positive and constructive state of engagement with oneself. A positive one. Solitude is desirable, a state of being alone, where you provide yourself a wonderful and sufficient company. So, during solitude, ginagawa mo dito is a time that you can use as a reflection, inner searching, or growth, or enjoyment of some kind. So, um, deep reading requires solitude. Uh, during the solitude time, you, it can require a deep reading. And of course, pinag-usapan natin dito, a solitude time with Christ. Of course, a deep reading with the God's Word through the Bible. So, and ano pa? Um, solitude also is refreshing, an opportunity to renew oneself. In other words, it replenishes us. Um, differentiate lang po natin ito sa, sa loneliness. Loneliness, it is a state of, it is a negative state. Well, solitude is a positive one. Kasi baka ma, ma, ma ipareho or maitulad natin ito. Parang ito rin ba yung pagiging lonely? Kasi you are isolating yourself. You are isolating yourself sa mga taong nakapaligid sa'yo. Yan. So, hindi po. A loneliness is a neg negative state while solitude is a positive one. Because in solitude, it can restore your body your and your mind and it make you have rest. While loneliness, it can really deplete you. When you are really lonely, pwede ka nitong sirain, pwede ka nitong wasakin talaga ng buong buo. Sabi nga dito sa nakita ko na, na quotation, sabi dito, there is no difference between loneliness, there, sorry, there is a difference between loneliness and solitude. One will empty you and one will fill you. And you have the power to choose. Amen. So, sa madaling salita, loneliness is it will empty you and solitude, it will fill you. Ngayon, you have the power to choose. What are you going to choose? Are you going to choose that during this spiritual quarantine is magiging lonely ka ba? Or you will find time to have this solitude with Christ and find rest and find peace with His presence. Amen. And we can we can really tell na napakadaming mga pagkakataon sa na, or mga mga pangyayari sa sa Bible na talagang naging maraming pagkakataon na nagkaroon ng solitude and rest ang mga mga character sa Bible and napakagandang example niyan is si Jesus Christ. Jesus took time in solitude and rest. Throughout the gospels we read of Jesus separating himself from those he was ministering to, and even from his closest friends and, and, and his followers, to spend alone in prayer and communion with his Father. So, basahin po natin sa Matthew 4, verses 1 to 2, NIV version. Let us all read. Basahin po natin lahat. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. After fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. Amen. Before beginning his ministry, before Jesus begin um, his ministry, we see him being led by the Holy Spirit to spend 40 days alone in fasting and prayer. So, nagkaroon siya ng time to really devote himself to have a prayer, to have a fast, to have a prayer and fasting for 40 days and 40 nights. Amen. And with Luke, basahin din natin sa Luke 6 verse 12 to 13, ang sabi dito, One of those days, Jesus went out to a mountainside to pray and spent the night praying to God. 
When morning came, he called his disciples to him and chose twelve of them, whom he also designated apostles. Amen? Before deciding kung sino nga ba yung mga followers niya, kung sino yung ide-designate niya na twelve apostles niya, um, we were told that he went out to the mountain to pray. And all night he continued in prayer to God. And when they came, he called his disciples and chose from them twelve whom he named apostles. Amen. So, doon din sa pagkakataon na yun, Jesus went on to a mountainside to pray. He, he isolated himself in the mountainside para manalangin, para magkaroon ng, ng time with his, with his Father. Amen. And what else? On Matthew 4 verse 13, Basahin po ulit natin. When Jesus heard what had happened, he withdrew by boat privately to a solitary place. Hearing of this, the crowds followed him on foot from the towns. And after hearing of the dead of John the Baptist, Jesus withdrew from there in a boat to a, de to desolate, to a desolate place by himself. So, sarili lang niya din. So, gumawa rin siya ng pagkakataon, gumawa rin siya ng, ng time to really go on in a private, pri to go on privately to a solitary place. So, talagang nagkaroon siya ng pagkakataon, ginagawa niya ng pagkakataon, Jesus choose to really have a time of solitude and rest during those situations na nangyayari sa, sa, kanyang, sa panahon po nila. And you may also want to check other scriptures that show how Christ put into practice being in solitude with the Lord. Um, meron po dyan, meron po, pwede nyo pong basahin sa Luke 5, 13-16, Matthew 14-23, to and Deuteronomy 9, verse 18. Yeah, so pwede po ninyong basahin yan. And marami pa po, marami pa pong ibang mga situation or pangyayari na talagang nagkaroon ng, sol ng time of, of prayer and a time of solitude sa mga panahon na yun. And it was common for Jesus to separate himself from others to be alone with God. And even when he was extremely busy and even na kahit na talagang palagi siyang kailangan and ang dami niyang ginagawang great things, he still made a point of getting away from everyone to have time alone with his father. No matter how busy he is, kumbaga parang sa ano ay talagang mayat maya kailangan siya mayat maya marami siyang kailangan gawin and yet di ba nagkaroon pa rin siya he still makes uh, he still made a point of getting away from everyone to have time alone with his father and doon sa nabanggit nating verse kanina Deuteronomy 9:18 even Moses would often set himself apart to be alone with God often Often for extended period of times. Dun sa Deuteronomy 9.8, Moses reminds the Israelites that he practiced solitude and fasting before the Lord for 40 days and 40 nights as well on their behalf. Para sa kapakanan ng mga Israelites, ay ginawa ni Moses to really have that 40 days and 40 nights of solitude and fasting. Amen. And truly that the number 40, meron nga tayong nakita na na message din sa Facebook the truly that number 40 ay palagi or malimit na nababanggit sa sa Bible and and mo and some sabi nga doon some theologians think that number 40 represents change kanina doon sa binasa natin Jesus fasted for 40 days pati si Moses ganun din sa time ni Noah the rain fell 40 days then but after those 40 days may malaking pagbabagong nangyari amen it is the time of preparation for a person. It is a time of preparing a person or people to make a fundamental or great change sa kanilang mga buhay. And in our quarantine sa mga panahon na ito for almost 40 days, lampas na rin tayo, 41 days sakto, ba? 41 days, for sure, something will really change sa atin pong bansa. And dapat pati yung spiritual life natin, pati yung relationship natin with the Lord, ay dapat may, pagbag, may pagbabago. Amen? Hindi dapat paurong, kundi pasulong. Amen? Kung gaano natin binibigyan ng, ng, ng halaga yung, yung, pag, yung pagbabago na nangyayari sa mundo natin, dapat ganun din yung halaga na ibinibigay natin with our spiritual life. 
Amen. And with our effort, we too can practice the discipline of solitude. Kayang-kaya natin gawin. Amen. Kayang-kaya natin gawin. And, and surely, kapag ginawa natin ngayon, tayo rin ang magbe-benefit. Tayo rin ang, ang makikinabang kapag ginawa natin yung bagay na yun. Amen. And, and but, but, um, pero, um, sa, sa totoong buhay lamang, talagang minsan, dumarating tayo sa pagkakataon na na-overlook natin yung pagkakaroon ng time of solitude with Christ. Amen po ba? Minsan, na-overlook no, natin na ito, we tend to always negotiate with the Lord. Lord, kasi, uh, busy ako ngayon. Lord, kasi, ang dami kong ginagawa. Lord, ang dami ko pong assignment. Lord, ang dami kong groupings. And even Saturday or Sunday, minsan, mga estudyante ngayon, may mga groupings din sa klase nila. Amen? So, kah kaya hindi na rin sila nagkakaroon ng time of solitude with Christ. Kasi, bakit? Sa, bakit? So, sa tingin po ba natin, bakit po ito pinapahaba pa? So, sa, sa pagkakaalam natin ngayon, we, we were extended again hanggang May, hanggang May 15, extended po muli ang atin pong quarantine. And I believe, God is God God really wants us to, 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 alam mo yun, to communicate with Him, to do something para may mangyaring maganda para po sa ating mga spiritual life. Bakit niya to pinapahaba? Bakit niya to pinatatagal? Kasi hanggat hindi tayo bumabalik sa kanya, hanggat hindi natin na-appreciate yung pagmamahal niya sa ating bayan, hindi matatapos yung quarantine na ito. Amen po ba? Sabi nga po ni, ni Bishop Manny, narinig ko sa preaching niya, quarantine pa more. Amen? Na naakala natin, this quarantine ay pahirap, pasakit para sa ating lahat. Pero at the back of that, at the, at the side of that, makikita natin malaki ang nagagawa ng quarantine na ito. Amen. And spiritual quarantine can help us a lot. So do it now. Sabi mo sa sarili mo, gagawin ko na. Gagawin ko na Lord to have a time of solitude with you. Amen. So, wag mo, wag na, wag mo na sabihin sa katabi mo. Sabihin mo na lang mismo sa sarili mo. Amen. Because from time to time, we really forget to really do this time of solitude with Christ. Amen. Babalik. Babalik at babalik tayo sa basic. Babalik at babalik tayo dun sa mga bagay na napakasimple, pero hindi natin madalas nagagawa. Babalik at babalik tayo dun sa mga bagay na gusto talagang ipagawa sa atin ng Diyos para tayo ay matuto, para tayo ay magkaroon talaga ng deeper relationship with Him. Amen. And, and we really have a lot of time to do so. So, let us start once again. Let us start once again. And, and for us to really have this perfect, hindi naman perfect, for, or for us, for us to really have this great time of solitude with Christ, we have points, we have points to consider. We have points to consider when practicing solitude. Number one point is, solitude requires time and planning. Being alone with God requires time and planning. Choose a place and set a time where you can be intimate with God and free from distractions. This special place doesn't need to be special. It just needs to be a place where you can remove yourself from the world for as much time as needed. Commit to finding creative ways to be alone with God for extended periods of solitude, ranging from a few hours or a few days. Basic lang to, amen? Pero, again, bakit nahihirapan tayong gawin? Then why can't we, why can't we do it sa mga, sa, minsan sa ating uh, oras, sa ating panahon? And, and this point really helps us na magkaroon talaga tayo. This tells us that for us to have the better uh, solitude with Christ, we have to, to uh, set a time and set a plan para magawa natin to ng maayos. Kaya sabi nga, the reason solitude is a spiritual discipline is that alone time can often be a more difficult task than we think. Diba? Ang daling sabihin pero mahirap gawin. Amen. Pero pag nagawa natin, this will really benefit us a lot. So set time. Set time and plan for your time of solitude with Christ. Amen? Then, number two point, solitude requires 
effort and planning. I'm uh, sorry. Solitude requires effort and persistence. We live, di ba, lahat tayo, we live in a busy world where time alone is not always rewarded. So, solitude does take effort and persistence. Kailangan mo talagang mag-effort. Kailangan mo talagang maging persistent. We need to learn that it's okay to tell others that we just want to be alone. So, pwede nating sabihin sa mga miyembro ng pamilya natin or sa asawa mo kung may asawa ka or sa nanay mo kapag inuutusan ka pero kailangan mo magkaroon ng time of solitude. Pwede mong sabihin, ipagpaalam mo, sabihin mo that I will have a time of solitude. You have to do your effort. You have to be persistent on the time na napinlano mo talaga. Amen? And the spiritual disciplines of solitude may be quiet, but it is also full of adventure because God Himself is waiting to meet you there. Amen? Napaka, napakasarap nun. Napakasarap ng, ng ganong sitwasyon that truly ikaw lamang at ang Diyos ang magkausap. Amen? Whenever you get away from the noise and busyness of life, Um, you encounter God through the time of solitude. May encounter at may encounter mo talaga ang Panginoon during that time of solitude na gagawin mo. Amen. And with that, you really have to be persistent. If God, if Jesus is persistent and always laying his, uh, always laying his efforts for you to be in a good situation, And why not do or make some effort and be persistent in having time of solitude to meet Him? Amen? If Jesus is always making time or making ways para mapabuti ang ating pong mga sarili, then why not can we make time to have a solitude with Him? To, make, to have a solitude of time with Him. Amen? So yun po yung pangalawa. And ang pangatlo po, solitude requires silence and acceptance. Scriptures, scriptural, scripture tells us that there is a time to keep silence and a time to speak. So, may mga panahon na dapat tayong magsalita at meron din tayong mga panahon na, na dapat tayo ay manahimik or tumahimik. Amen? And speaking less and much more carefully can help us gain control of what we say. ba diba? Kapag talagang... Um, kinokontrol or parang iniingatan natin kung ano yung mga sinasabi natin, we avoid na talagang meron tayong masabi na hindi tama or hindi hindi maganda. And it helps us consider what we're saying to make sure it should be said. Speaking less help, helps us to be better listener and pay attention to what others are saying. It makes us more considerate of others and their needs. So, ganun din po. When we are having a solitude of time, when we are having a solitude with Christ, ganun din po. Tahimik po muna natin ang ating po mga bibig and let Him, let Him tell or let Him say everything to you para mas maging malinaw ang inyong pag-uusap, para mas ma makuha mo, ma-accept mo kung ano yung nais na sabihin sa iyo ng Panginoon. Amen? The simplest and most common reason we avoid being alone with God is that Solitude forces us to face everything in our lives head on. Yung yung internal con yung internal confrontation is often why solitude is one of the most difficult spiritual quarantine. Yung confrontation ba? Yung kapag meron na talagang sinasabi sa iyo ng Panginoon na ito ang tama, ito ang dapat mong gawin. Amen. So kaya this um having a solitude is really a Um, mahirap na spiritual discipline para po sa ating lahat. Kasi dito mo talaga malalaman kung ano ba yung mga dapat mong tanggalin, ano bang mga dapat mong baguhin sa iyong sarili. Amen. And kailangan mong magpatama. Kailangan mong magpatama, kailangan mong ta kailangan mong tamaan para maiayos ka. Amen. Kasi kapag hindi ka natamaan, hindi ka na natusok na nung, nung word of God, if hindi ka na correct, if hindi ka na rebuke if hindi ka na control ng mga salita ng Diyos, I believe babalik at babalik ka sa kung anong mga ginagawa mo sa buhay mo ngayon. Amen? So, again, again, number one, uh, para points to consider when, when practicing solitude, kailangan mo ng solitude requires time and planning. Then, number two, solitude requires effort and persistence. And number three, solitude requires silence and acceptance. You have to really accept 
what is Christ is telling you during your time with Him. Amen? During your time with Him. And I believe some of you will say na during your time of solitude na ang dami kong naririnig, parang ang dami kong gustong gawin na Lord, kasi ito na yung sinabi mo eh. Kailangan ko ng gawin to, kailangan ko ng ayusin to. I believe hindi yon nakakatakot. I believe hindi yon para sa ikasasama mo. If galing yan sa Panginoon, panigurado maganda yan. And you just really have to, to, to make the most of your time para mas malaman mo ano bang dapat mong unahin, para mas malaman mo ano ba yung mas, mas dapat mong bigyan ng time or bigyan ng, ng opportunity na gawin mo muna para sa iyong buhay. Sabi nga, solitude is where you will, you will place your chaos to rest and awaken your inner, inner peace. Amen? Solitude is where I place my chaos to rest and awaken my inner peace. So, by having and practicing um, spiritual quarantine or spiritual sol solitude with Christ, we may be able to achieve things we would ever know and have for. Katulad ng pagsunod, again, katulad ng pagsunod natin sa atin pong government, for us to take good care of ourselves physically, we can be sure of na makakaiwas din tayo sa virus ng kasalanan sa ating mga buhay. Amen? And by having a time of solitude with Christ, we can be able to find rest with it. Sa sobrang dami po ng bagay or issues na binibigay sa atin po ng mundo, Christ will really be the only way, the only truth, and the only life that can give us rest and inner peace. Amen. And with that, nag-come up din po ako. <laughs> Amen. Sa tulong po ng aking pong um, asawa na punong-puno po ng wisdom, um, nag-come up din po ako ng acronym. So, syempre, ako din. Kailangan may acronym din ako kasi sila Pastor, Pastor Tani, Pastor Criselda, and Pastor Edwin ay nagkaroon. So, Ako din, kaya kung bumuo. Actually, buo na yung preaching or buo na yung pointers ko last week bago ko pa man marinig yung preaching ni Pastor Edwin. But then, kung gaano na-challenge si Pastor Edwin, ganun din ako. Na-challenge din ako. And, and with the help of my husband, um, na, nakapag-come up kami nito. That, that truly, solitude with Christ is equals to rest. With, with solitude with Christ, we can really achieve these things, these four things na talagang nais ng Panginoon na maranasan natin at maramdaman natin. Number one point, letter R, rinse your heart. Sabi nga sa Proverbs 4 verse 23, NLT version, Guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. And, Diba? As, as we wash our hands, diba? tinuturuan tayo kung paano yung tamang paghuhugas ng ating mga kamay. As we wash our hands physically, we also have to rinse our heart spiritually. Ano na bang laman ng puso mo ngayon? Malinis na ba yan because of this quarantine season? Or punong-puno pa rin ba yan ng galit? Punong-puno pa rin ba yan ng takot? Punong-puno pa rin ba yan ng, ng, ng pangamba? Punong-puno pa rin ba yan ng sakit? Matigas pa rin ba ang iyong puso? Pusong punong-puno pa rin ba ng karumihan ng mundo? Amen? During this spiritual quarantine and during a time of solitude with Christ, find time to have a time of solitude with Him for Him to rinse your heart. Kailangan mong palinis kailangan mong pahugasan ng iyong puso once again sa Panginoon. And once your heart is rinsed and clean, I believe you can easily show or share the love of Christ na nararamdaman mo sa mga taong nakapaligid sa iyo. Amen? Let the love that you experience in solitude and silence pour out into other people's lives. Diba? Yun naman po ang talagang isa sa mission natin dito sa mundong ito. To really share to really extend the love na ibinigay po sa atin ng Panginoon. And each time that you return to life in community with other people after spending time in solitude and silence, draw upon the love that God has given you to love others in the way He wants you to express love. Amen. Napakasarap nun, di ba? If tama ang ating puso, if maayos ang ating puso, if we have the heart, na katulad ng sa Panginoon, 
ang sarap, ang dali nating ibigay, ang dali nating i-express sa ibang tao yung pagmamahal na yon na naramdaman natin mula sa kanya. Amen. From sa, sa God has given us uh, during with our meeting kung paano ba talaga natin malilinis at mayaayos ang ating mga puso. So again, rinse your heart. Let God, let Christ during your time of solitude na i-rinse ang, ang, ang iyong puso. Amen. Sabi nga, because kailangan mo i-guard yung puso mo. Bakit? For it determines the, cor- the course of your life. Kung puro galit ang laman ng puso mo, malamang yung course ng buhay mo, yung pagpapatuloy mo sa buhay mo, puro galit talaga ang mararamdaman mo. If yung, 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 yung course ng, ng puso mo ngayon ay, ay puro puro hindi pagpapatawad, I believe yung tatahakin talaga ng buhay mo ay puro galit at talagang never nang magpapatawad mo muli. And during this spiritual quarantine, I encourage you to let God rinse your heart. Amen? So, pangalawa po, pangalawa po, letter E, eliminate your evil ways. Eliminate your evil ways. Sabi sa Proverbs 3 verse 7, Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. So, as we as we do social distancing para makaiwas tayo or para hindi tayo mahawahan ng COVID-19, we also have to emil- eliminate or social distance ourselves from our evil ways. Panahon na para alisin yan sa buhay mo. Panahon na para alisin yan sa ating mga buhay. At isa-isa, at isa sa paraan para malaman mo kung ano yung mga aalisin mong evil ways sa buhay mo ay sa pamamagitan ng pagkakaroon ng time of solitude with Christ. Amen? Face yourself as you really are and let God help you. During your time of solitude, if Christ is really, alam mo yun, binibigay talaga sa sa'yo, pinapakita talaga sa sa'yo yung mga bagay na dapat mong ayusin, mga bagay na dapat mong alisin na sa buhay mo ngayon, let God help you. He will really help you. Gaano man kahirap yan, matutulungan at matutulungan ka ng Panginoon. Rather than hiding from God or denying kung sino ka talaga or kung ano talaga yung nararamdaman mo, try not to control the things and express everything to God. Express everything to Him para mas matulungan ka niya. Para mas maibigay niya kung ano yung tamang solusyon at tamang mga bagay na dapat mong gawin para ma-eliminate mo talaga yung mga evil ways na nagagawa mo sa buhay mo. Amen? Keep in mind that God is for you, with you, and in you when you open yourself up to His powerful presence. Again, ulitin po natin yun. Keep in mind, keep in your mind that God is for you, God is with you, and in you when you open yourself up to His powerful presence. So, completely, completely give yourself to God, completely give yourself to Christ, who loves you just as you are, but also loves you too much to let you stay as you are. Amen? Magpatulong ka. Magpatulong ka kay Christ. I know mahirap, or baka hindi mo alam that you are doing evil ways, Meron kang evil ways na pinangahawakan sa buhay mo. But I believe if you have that sa- that time of solitude with Christ, you can really eliminate those evil ways sa buhay mo. Amen? Then number three, strengthen your spiritual immunity with faith and power of the Holy Spirit. Jude 1 verse 3 says, My dear friends, I really wanted to write you about God's saving power at work in our lives. But instead, I must write and ask you to defend the faith that God has once and for all given to His people. As we take yung mga high dose of vitamin C, as we take yung mga food to boost our immune system, or yung mga uh, inumen to boost our immune system, you also have to strengthen your spiritual immunity by continuously taking God's Word. Amen? God's Word will be your multivitamins for you para hindi ka madaling madapuan ng sakit ng kasalanan or para hindi ka madaling madapuan ng virus ng kasalanan. Amen. 
para mas mapanindigan mo yung faith mo sa Diyos na never kanyang iiwan or pababayaan. Seek rest for your body, mind, and soul. Pray for the wisdom you need to recognize when you became, um, yung, yung pagkakataon na talagang um, you've become uh, dangerously tired or exhausted sa, sa buhay mo to the point na talagang hindi mo na marinig kung ano yung gustong iparating sa'yo ng Panginoon. Kasi baka nga, kulang ka sa vitamins, kulang ka sa spiritual vitamins, kaya ka nang hihina, kaya yung faith mo, kaya yung, yung, yung the way you act para ipakita yung pagmamahal mo sa Diyos ay malamyana. Amen? So, this is the right time, this is the right opportunity to accept God's invitation, to rest in His presence. Amen? So, do it. While you are spending time in solitude, take deep uh, take deep, deep breaths and let the peace of God's presence fill your body. Amen? Let go of concerns that your mind is trying to hold on to during your time of solitude. Kasi minsan, di ba, alam mo yon yung pakiramdam mo, gustong gusto mo na, pero minsan yung isip mo humaharang, minsan yung isip mo hinahadlangan ka. So, Ask God to help you. Ask God to help you during your time of solitude with Him. Ask God to help you quiet your mind and listen to Him with your spirit. And trust that He will respond to your prayer by speaking to you. Talagang kakausapin at kakausapin ka ng Panginoon. Ask for God's help. And um, strengthen. You really need to strengthen your spiritual immunity. Amen? Then, pangat-apat po, mabilis lang po, di ba? Pa-apat, talk to Christ in prayer if symptoms of sins persist. Sabi nga po si Jeremiah 33.3, Call to me and I will answer you. I will tell you wonderful and marvelous things that you know nothing about. So, katulad po din ng ating pong pag- pagtatrust or pag paniniwala sa ating po mga nurses or mga doctors, if symptoms of COVID is in you or kung anong sakit ang meron ka, trust more and depend more kung anong kayang gawin ni Christ sa buhay mo. People can lack knowledge and ways to protect you, but Christ will never be. Amen? Be true to Christ. Diba? If, if grief is weighing on your soul, confess it to God. When your soul feels grateful for God's love, express that gratitude to God. And same as with sa mga doctors, if you tell them everything ng tunay mong nararamdaman, diba, mas matutulungan ka nila para gumaling ka. Kaya if sasabihin mo yung katotohanan kay Christ kung anong nararamdaman mo during your time of solitude with Him, mas matutulungan ka niya. Amen? Open up to Him. Tell everything. Para mas matulungan niya. Para mas maibigay, kay, mas maibigay niya kung ano yung mga solusyon sa pinagdadaanan mo sa mga oras na to. Amen. Receive God's guidance. Tanggapin mo kung anong guidance ang Panginoon ay binibigay niya sa'yo ngayon. The more you spend time, the more time you spend with God in solitude, the more you learn how to recognize God's voice when He speaks to you. Amen. Pray for the guidance you need to make wise decisions sa mga plans mo, sa iyong buhay. And be alert for the Holy Spirit witnessing to your spirit about what is true. Remember that the Holy Spirit will reveal truth to you only as you're able to bear it. So trust God's timing. Amen. Remember, God made the heavens and the earth by His strong hand and powerful arm. And nothing is too hard from Him. Kung gaano man kahirap yung pinagdadaanan mo ngayon, walang wala yan sa kakayahan ng Panginoon para matulungan ka. You just really have to open up. You just really have to tell everything to Him. You just really have to accept everything ng nais Niyang ipagawa sa'yo. Amen? Sabi nga dito, sa atin pong quote na nakita, um, In solitude, there is healing. Speak to your soul, listen to your heart. The answer are often found in the absence of noise. When you really have the, this time of solitude with Christ, there is healing. 
meron at merong gagamutin ng Panginoon. You just really have to find time. You just really have to decide to have a time of solitude with Christ. And surely, you will have that rest na hinahanap mo sa buhay mo ngayon. Amen? So, in our conclusion, the purpose of these disciplines is to bring us into deeper and more intimate um, communication with Christ. They take us away from the normal interaction we have with others and help us enter into God's presence and God's fellowship. As what we all hear, this should be the new normal. Amen? Narinig po ba natin yun? Ito na po dapat ang new normal sa mga panahon ngayon when it comes to our spiritual life. For many, the thought of being alone or not speaking with others or being connected online ay nakakatakot. Parang ang hirap gawin. However, in practicing solitude, we are temporarily separated from other people. But, tandaan po natin ito, we are not separated from the Lord. We are not separated from the Lord of rest, from the Lord of love, and from the Lord of peace. Amen. Never, never, ever kang separate sa pagmamahal ng Christ, sa pagmamahal niya, when you have that time of solitude with Him. Amen. It can be difficult to find the opportunity of solitude, especially for extended period of times. Lalo na kung nanay ka, marami kang inaasikasong anak, if you are a CEO or a boss ng isang kumpanya, or even if you are a frontliner. But even just a one-minute retreat is well worth the effort. But of course, a longer one can be of great benefit. Of course, syempre. Kasi mas mas maririnig natin, mas mahaba yung panahon natin para makausap siya. And it will really benefit us a lot. Amen? So I encourage you to bring the discipline of solitude into your life as much as possible. It is a sacrifice and a commitment to separate yourself for a time of fellowship with the Lord. But the benefit of giving Him your undivided attention, remember this, is well worth the sacrifice. Remember that. It will be all worth it if you really find time to have a solitude with Christ. To have a time of solitude with Christ. Amen? So, let's have a recap once again. Solitude in Christ is equals to rest. A time of solitude with Christ can help us rinse our hearts, can help us eliminate our evil ways. It can strengthen your, um, our spiritual immunity with faith and power of the Holy Spirit. And you can wholeheartedly talk to Christ in prayer if symptoms of sins persist. Amen? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, O oh God. And I just want to, to share this with you for us as a last verse po natin. Um, during uh, in my time, in one of my time of solitude with Christ, I really find rest and peace in the whole chapter of Psalm 91. And if you are a, if you are joining Pastor Edwin sa, sa, every 714 prayer natin sa gabi. Natutuwa ako kasi, um, nag-connect din siya. Amen. Nag-connect din doon sa mensahe niya. Palagi rin dinidiscuss si Pastor Edwin yung about Psalm 91 doon. And I invite you to join us as well every night, 714 p.m. And let's have a time of prayer and a time of um, devotion with Christ para po sa ating bansa and para po sa ating pong lahat. And let this time be a time of solitude for all of us who is watching right now. And know that the Lord is our fortress. So as we read this verse, babasahin po natin yung buong verse po ng buong verse po ng, ng Psalm 91. Sabi po dito sa Psalm 91, The Lord is my fortress. Live under the protection of God Most High and stay or rest 
in the shadow of God all-powerful. Then you will say to the Lord, You are my fortress and my place of safety. You are my God and I trust you. The Lord will keep you safe from secret traps and deadly diseases. He will spread His wings over you and keep you secure. His faithfulness is like a shield or a city wall. You won't need to worry about dangers at night or arrows during the day. And you won't fear diseases that strike in the dark or sudden disaster at noon. You will not be harmed though thousands fall all around you. And with your own eyes, you will see the punishment of the wicked. Verse 9, The Lord Most High is your fortress. Run to Him for safety. And no terrible diseases or no terrible disasters will strike you or your home. God will command His angels to protect you wherever you go. They will carry you in their arms and you won't hurt your feet on the stones. You will overpower the strongest lions and the most deadly snakes. Verse 14 Verse 14 The Lord says, If you love me, and truly know who I am, I will rescue you and keep you safe. When you are in trouble, call out to me and I will answer you. I will answer and be there to protect and honor you. You will live a long life and see my saving power. Amen. Hallelujah. I just want to encourage everyone you can use this verse, this uh, this chapter, Psalm 91, in having a time of your solitude with Christ. I believe God really wants to talk to you. I believe God really wants to, to, to have that long time communicating with you. And God is waiting for you to cry out everything na nakakapagpabigat ng iyong buhay sa mga oras na ito. After this service, I encourage you to have the time of solitude with Him. And truly, hindi ka mabibigo. Hindi ka may hihinayang dun sa time na ibibigay mo. Why? Because you will find rest. And you will find peace in Him. Amen. Hallelujah. As we end, I just want to, to encourage you. Let us all pray. Panginoon, tulungan mo po kami, O God. Help each and every one of us here, O God. Forgive us, Panginoon, for the times na we really have time to do so, a time of solitude with you, but we choose not to do so, Panginoon. Patawarin mo kami if we are making ourselves too busy sa mga bagay na ino-offer sa amin ng mundo, Panginoon. Na hindi namin napapansin, O oh God, kung ano po yung nais mo, kung ano po yung plano mo para po sa amin, O Lord. Sa mga oras na ito, sa mga natutunan po namin, sa iyo pong mensahe sa amin sa umagang ito, tulungan mo kami, Panginoon, na magkaroon kami ng totoong solitude time with you, O God. Toto uh, a time of solitude with you, O Lord. Hallelujah. Forgive us, O God, for the time na nasasayang po namin, Panginoon, for not spending it with you, O God. And right now, Panginoon, I know you're giving us another opportunity para gawin po yun, O God. Maraming maraming salamat for, for opening once again our hearts, our mind, Panginoon. 
upang muli, O oh God, maramdaman namin, O oh God, ang iyong pagmamahal sa bawat isa po sa amin, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We glorify your name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. And I believe um, some of us here, kung ikaw ay um, bago ka po, bago, bago mo lamang ito napakinggan, or you are a first-timer dito po sa, amin pong, sa ating pong, um, online service, or this is your first time to hear this kind of preaching or topic, and natouch ka sa kung anong mensahe ng Panginoon sa atin sa umagang ito. I just want to encourage you, I just want to invite you to raise your hand right now, taas mong yung mga kamay, and let me pray for you. Sundan mo ko sa aking panalangin para sa iyo. Panginoong Jesus, inaamin ko po na ako po ay makasalanan. Patawarin mo po ako at linisin mo ang aking pagkatao. At simula ngayon, tinatanggap ko kita ng buong puso sa aking buhay. At ikaw na po ngayon ang aking Diyos at tagapagliktas. Maraming salamat po. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God for your life. Praise God for accepting Christ in your life right now. And if you have any question, you can send us a message here sa ating Facebook page. And we will be glad to assist you. We will be glad to talk to you and help you grow with your relationship with Christ. I believe that that God really um, nilid ka talaga ng Panginoon para mapakinggan mo ang mensahe niya sa mga oras na ito. And maraming maraming salamat for giving your time. And I pray that the Lord spoke to each and every one of us right now. And I pray that during this spiritual quarantine, um, talagang ma, ma, we make most of the time natin. I mean, ma, magagawa talaga natin kung ano yung dapat natin gawin for us to upgrade our spiritual life. Amen? A time with Christ, walang nasasayang if we really spend our time with Christ. Hallelujah. And if we really have, or if we are really finding it hard to do so, ask God to help you. Ask Christ to help you. Because with Christ, everything is possible. Amen? So God bless everyone. Stay safe and see you once again on our next service, next online service on next Sunday. And I encourage everyone as well to join our online life group. You can approach uh, your leaders kung paano po kayo makaka-join sa ating po mga life groups para kahit during this um, quarantine season, magpapalakasan tayo, uh, magtutulungan tayo talaga. And during our life group, it is also a time of solitude. Amen but with a group of people. Amen. We have men's group, we have um, women's group, young professionals group, and even youth. So, I encourage everyone to join. I encourage everyone na sumama po kayo sa ating pong mga online life group. And together as well sa, sa um, every night prayer na nililid po ni Pastor, Ed, Pastor Edwin every 7.14 p.m. Amen. God bless everyone. Stay safe. Praise God for everything. Wow! Maraming maraming salamat, Pastor Gwen, sa isang napakagandang mensahe. I'm sure uh, tayo pong lahat ay na-bless. Amen? Amen. Na sabi nga po, ang spiritual quarantine pala ay ang panahon ng rest. Rest kay Christ. Amen? R-E-S-T. Rinse your heart. Eliminate your evil ways. Men strengthen your uh, spiritual immune system through faith and uh, the power of the Holy Spirit and then letter T, talk to Christ kaya R-E-S-T, rest wow, napakaganda, amen sabi mo sa katabi mo rest mo yan kay Lord amen, amen mo rest mo yan kay Lord 
Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Sige po, tumayo na po tayong lahat. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let the Lord truly uh, bring us uh, victory. Amen. Over our life, over our family, over our finances and business and our marriage, over our church. Amen. Over our community and government and over our nation. Amen. And the most importantly, mga kapatid, we have, tandaan po natin, we have victory over this pandemic uh, coronavirus disease. Amen. In the name and in the blood of our Passover Lamb, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And amen. Sige po, itas po natin ating dalawang kamay. I want to release, uh, pronounce to you the benediction of blessing. Amen. As we lift up our hands. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. I want to pronounce this, this benediction of blessing. I decree and declare that this is the day that the Lord has made. Since every good gift comes from God, I speak to you that this day and the day follows are both good and perfect. May this day bring you divine opportunities. Amen. And may it bring you supernatural breakthroughs and miracles. May this moment of community quarantine become your defining moment, marking a prosperous, death-free, disease-free, depression-free destiny, and an ending of a sad, depressing, discouraging history of your life. Amen. And may you forever live under an open heaven. Amen. And may God give you a strategy of a prosperous and successful living. Amen. May that new heart and that new spirit come upon us all, a new way of obedience, and a newness of anointing be bestowed upon us through the Holy Spirit. Amen. And let the spirit of wisdom and understanding, let the spirit of counsel of might, the spirit of knowledge, and the fear of the Lord will come upon us. Long life to your right hand, riches and honor to your left hand, May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up His countenance on you and be and give you shalom, peace. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Palakpaan natin ng Panginoon. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Mga kapatid, natapos na naman po ang isang uh, unified online worship natin. Maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat po ng ginamit ng Panginoon sa ating worship team. Thank you Lord sa inyo, sa inyo mga buhay. Pagpalain kay ni Lord sa nagbigay ng exhortation at sa nagbigay ng mensahe at uh, sa pagtatapos po natin. Tunay po na uh, kahit po tayo ay nasa mga tahanan pa lang, hindi pa tayo nagkikita-kita sa isang uh, bahay-sambahan, tandaan natin na ang bawat bahay natin ay sambahay. Kaya... Uh, enjoy po natin ang Panginoon sa ating po mga tahanan, kayong mga taga-Paranyake, kayong mga taga-Pasay, Las Piñas, Cavite, amen, dyan po sa may uh, Infanta Quezon, okay, dyan po sa, sa GMA, Dasma, Bacoor, Imus, amen, dyan po sa uh, Bulacan, ayan, dyan po sa Santa Maria, may Kawayan, dyan po sa may Quezon City, dyan po sa Valenzuela, okay, at maging po sa may Bongao, Tawi-Tawi. Tayo pong lahat ay na iba't ibang panig ng lugar ng Pilipinas at yung mga ibang nagre-request sa ibang bansa, sa USA, dyan po sa Hong Kong, sa Japan, sa Singapore, sa Italy, okay, Dubai, Romania, okay, at uh, Monaco sa iba't ibang pang bahagi ng mundo. Nawa po ang Panginoon ay samahan tayo lagi. Uh, tunay nga na sa isang panibagong linggo, ano man po ang ating gagawin ay tayo po ay patuloy na pagpalain ng Panginoon. Amen? At tandaan po natin, mahal na mahal ka ng Panginoong Jesus. Amen? Sa, ling sa susunod na linggo po ulit, to God be the glory. Amen.